Hello Peaches! Welcome back to Dear Peachy. Even if you're not into Korean pop music or entertainment, we are sure that you have heard or seen her on TV or the internet. They called her the Human Chanel because Chanel would always look different when she wears it. Her solo debut song has topped multiple international music charts and she was also voted as the most favorite idols in Korea. K-pop fans from all over the world have been obsessed over her. She has significant ripple effects in fashion and beauty, and she clearly is one of the most influential trendsetters. She is Jenny Kim. The Chinese netizens have labeled Jenny's visual style as fiercely cute. Or in Chinese, they call it as Nai Xiyun. The word Nai actually refers to milk in literal meaning, but Nai can also be interpreted as young looking, cute or adorable here. Or to be more specific or to look at this in a more scientific perspective. The word Nai here stands for the neoteny of one's feature. Having high neoteny features is having facial features that looks like a child. While the word Xiyun means fierce, or it can be also interpreted as sexy in this context. Both styles for cute and fierce or sexy is actually two very distinctive styles. The cute style radiates warm and amicable temperament, while the sexy or fierce style gives out the colder vibes. However, if we combine both of these styles, the strong contrast of both styles will create a unique aesthetic and becomes even more attractive. Back to the Chinese word nai. As we have mentioned previously, it stands for the meaning of milk. So it relates us to babies or children, with them looking young, cute and soft. Facial features with characteristics like round face shape, facial features with rounded edges and shorter mid-face proportions can be categorized as visuals with the nai characteristics. On the other hand, the word xiyun or fears is about looking sexy and edgy. People with more delicate facial features with sharp edges, or they always have the fierce expression in their eyes and they look fierce when they are not smiling. These characteristics will make one looks colder. When both of these cute and fierce elements are combined together, it will create the feeling of innocent and adorable looks but they can also look like the don't come near to me, I am dangerous kind of girl at the same time. The unique contrast of Jenny's face has successfully created this alluring style of hers. The biggest juxtaposition of Jenny's face is actually coming from her round shaped face, eyes and lips. Her small round shaped face gives people a more friendly impression. Her elongated eye shape makes her looks confident and sexy. The slightly wide eye distance created a colder or distance perception. Her thick lips make her look intriguing and seductive. With both innocent, friendly and cold, distance perceptions of her features, they have fused to get the most unique style, the fiercely cute aesthetic that is not easily found on most celebrities. That is why Jenny is so distinctive and can be quickly recognized compared to other celebrities. Besides that, Jenny can also carry off many different styles as well. We can see that she can pull off that innocent girl next door style, hot girl baddie style, and expensive preppy girl style. All these styles with prominent contrast are able to show us that her doll-like face is limitless to her personal style. I would say that her stylists are really smart in styling her unique visual contrast to the greatest extent in order to unlock her beauty. Now, how do we know if Jenny's fiercely cute style is suitable for ourselves? First face shape that has smooth and edgeless outline and chubby cheeks. Let's look at Jenny's face shape. From front, Jenny's round face shape is smooth and has no edges. Similarly, oval face shape has the same characteristics too. Both face shapes have no protruding cheekbones. Such face shapes are just like the face of a child. Or in a more scientific way of saying this, such face shapes have the neotenous traits, which it retains the juvenile or childlike features well into adulthood. Commonly, these face shapes have rounded and smooth outline. To know if you have these face shapes, you can ask your friends to take a photo of you and check whether you're having round or oval face like Jenny. On the other hand, when we mentioned about Jenny's chubby cheeks, we will need to look at the sides of our face too. Jenny actually doesn't have sharp features. She has low nasal lab base, unlike the common beauty standards. But this has helped her cheeks to look plumper, fuller and this even further enhance her face to look more childlike. Next, the proportion of our facial features play a significant role in deciding if we go well with the style. This is because the ratio of each region will greatly affect how youthful our face will look. Even though Jenny has long mid-face region, and longer mid-face ratio will make one looks more matured, 
but she has also wide distance between her eyes and her brows. The wide eyes to brows distance have weakened the matureness from long mid-face, thus making her face to have higher neoteny. Moreover, her small rounded nose with her not-so-high nose bridge has made her nose to look shorter in overall. On contrast, higher nose bridge will further highlight the mid-face to look longer instead. We have mentioned Jenny's facial features that have high neoteny. How about the features that makes her look sexy and dangerous? One sexiness and alluring aura is radiated through their expression. Jenny has elongated and upturned eye shape. Not only that, she looks cold and appealing if she tries to cover half of her iris through her expression. This expression also can be called as the Sia San Bai Eyes, a Chinese term meaning lower three whites. It generally means the white space below or above the iris is revealed. Hence, this expression creates the feeling of distance and languish but sexy kind of look. Well, if you found yourself also having similar traits as what was mentioned above, this might be a great sign for you to try out the Jenny's iconic fiercely cute style on yourself too. Who ever thought that incorporating all these highly contrasted features will make Jenny's visual one of the most beloved in K-pop industry? The charm of the amazing duality in Jenny has drawn millions of fans and caught numerous global brands' eyes to have her to be their ambassador. Coming to the next part, how can ordinary girls like us apply Jenny's style concept on ourselves to improve our visual? The primary goal of the glow up plan will be, one to increase the coldness or fierceness of your features and second is to increase the neoteny of other parts of your face. Taking an example from the comparison between Jenny's pre-debut days and her now. To be honest, there is not much difference we see in the before and after. However, there are some changes that her stylist had made on her makeup and hairdo to maximize the potential of her visual. As mentioned in the Glow Up Plan's primary goal just now, Jenny's stylist has pushed the duality of her facial features to the greatest extent in order to level up her beauty. If you too have round face shape like Jenny, here's a contouring tip that you might find useful. If we observe Jenny's face closely, we can see that she has very defined jawline even though she has a round face shape. This has added the sense of elegance and sophistication to her sweet and adorable style. Some celebrities like Bae Suzy, though have round face shape, their jawline is not so defined. Such face shape often gives an innocent looking and cute impression. Different styles can be easily achieved by emphasizing different parts of her facial features through makeup. If Jenny would like to achieve a sexier or more matured style, her jawline contour will be emphasized. On the contrary, if Jenny would like to go for a youthful look, her hairstylist will then put more focus on styling her baby hair and her jawline contour will be less highlighted. To accentuate her chubby cheeks, only apply contour at the jawline area but not blend it towards the side of the cheeks. Next is Jenny's eyes. Although Jenny has double eyelid, her eyelid folds are not high. Her eye shape is elongated and some beauty expert also categorize her eyes as the parallelogram-shaped eyes. So how do we achieve Jenny's eye makeup? The fierceness of Jenny's visual comes from her eyes, so we will need to put more attention to our eyes instead of other facial features to bring out the fierceness of our visual. The other key point to remember is that fierceness embellish the attractiveness of our overall visual, and it should be highlighted specifically and precisely. As we all know that the most iconic eye makeup of hers is the signature cat eye series eye makeup. So the eyeliner plays a big role in it. Always trace your eyeliner downwards at your inner corner, while trace the wing shape at the end of your eyes. To recreate the parallelogram shape eyes. First, take a light color eyeshadow shade and blend within the shape for your upper lid. Blend your eyeshadow in wider region horizontally to elongate your eye shape. Then. Take a darker shade and add a half of your lid area. Layer the eyeshadow to create more dimension. For a lower lid, use an angled brush and trace it at the end of lower lash line in upward direction. Pick the eyeshadow with light pink or the earth tone shades to create the light and matte looking eye makeup. If you're afraid that wide and round face shape might not look good with this cat eye makeup, then you are wrong. Girls with round. Wide or chubby face can go really well with this eye makeup, as it can even help to bring out the beauty of the contrast between your features. People with wide set eyes, lower nose bridge or shorter lower face ratio will also look amazing in cat eye series makeup too. For her pouty lips, the red bean paste or the rose tone shades are more suitable for daily wear. They also complement well with the cat eye makeup to create the cute and sexy style. 
However, with red lips, it will make Jenny to look sexier and edgy. Both styles can be categorized distinctively, and it can also show us that we can draw a line between the fiercely cute style or the sexy and alluring style. If your lips are not as thick as Jenny's, you can go for lip gloss to give more volume to your lips. Other than that, hair is one big part in building the fiercely cute image of hers. Different hairstyles can affect how your facial structure or style look. Hence, your hairstyle shouldn't shift the focus away from the neoteny of your facial features. Long and wavy hairstyles match with the fiercely cute visual aesthetic better. Besides that, it can also help the fierceness of Jenny's facial features to be more eye-catching. Lastly, Jenny's outfit. Contrasting with her cute round face, Jenny will tend to go for simpler, neat and crisp outfit style. In Jenny's street style outfits, we can see that she loves to wear wide leg jeans or pants for the bottom, and pair them with crop tops. Her slim body figure is accentuated in these outfits, and it makes her looks more energetic and smarter. For dresses or outfits that show more skin or well-fitted, she prefers dresses that have simpler cutting or pattern, or dresses that are with cute elements in them, such as flat rounded collars or puffy sleeves. If you would like to emphasize the youthfulness or the cuteness in you, you can choose outfits in colors with low saturation. Or if you would like to go for matured or sexy looks, pick outfit with brighter colors instead. While there is a clear line in between the fiercely cute style and sweet but cool girl aesthetic, in Blackpink, Jenny's style is geared towards the fiercely cute style. On the other hand, Lisa's style can be categorized as the sweet but cool aesthetic. However, sometimes we can't even tell the difference between their outfit styles. This is because both styles combine the feminine element and the edgy look together. The attractive point of both styles are coming from the contrast between these elements. Although both styles are almost similar, they certainly have differences among them. Lisa's sweet but cool aesthetic puts more focus on the cool element, but Jenny's fiercely cute style has more cute element in it. The reason why Blackpink's stylist has styled Lisa and Jenny in such way, it is because their style is highly influenced by their facial features. Lisa has higher visual weight facial features, hence she looks more matured. Besides that, she has broader shoulders and tall body figure too. To accentuate her facial feature and body frame, the sweet but cool style will be more suitable for her. While Jenny has high neoteny features, her childlike features match perfectly with the fiercely cute style. So which style do you think suits you better? The Lisa or Jenny's fashion style? Tell us in the comment section. Sometimes we might think that K-pop idols seem like they are on another level of existence in terms of their visual. It's hard to imagine that they could have looked like us at any time. However, stylists and makeup artists have put in great efforts to study and enhance their natural beauty. Ordinary people like us might not be able to afford a personal stylist, but what I want to say here is, Always understand yourself and enhance them so that your natural beauty can shine through even more. To all girls who are watching this and secretly wishing to glow up like Jenny, we hope that this video can bring you some new perspectives in your journey of becoming a more beautiful you. We will see you in our next video. Goodbye!